Hello everyone, this is Charles1198 coming at you with another video. Uh, today I'm going to talk about my individual first aid kit. Uh, for me, this isn't just a trauma kit. Uh, this is something I would carry to the range, but I would also carry it into the woods if I'm going out for a few days. Or I would carry it uh, if I'm going hiking, something like that. Uh, what I carry it in is a Condor pouch. Nothing really special about that. Do keep a couple safety pins in there. I'm going to go through kind of quickly with what I have here. Uh, do have a bunch of 4x4s, 3x3s, some non-adherent pads, some band-aids, a pair of hemostats, uh, Sharpie with some transport tape on it, uh, sterile scalpel, some s small Cellox packets uh, if you get a cut that won't stop bleeding, uh, some EMT shears, antibacterial wipe with some Regular band-aids, I kind of keep those to the front just in case I have a skin knuckle or something. That's much more likely than having a major bleeding injury. Uh, carry some Blistex, some cling wrap here, moleskin, micro light. It's hard to find your stuff in the dark sometimes. Uh, have a little Bic lighter, some duct tape. Some over-the-counter medications, Tylenol, Advil, Pepto-Bismol, Imodium, Zantac, Benadryl. Uh, over here I have a military cravat. We've got some topicals. We have burn cream, hydrocortisone cream, and triple antibiotic ointment. As well as a few uh, antibacterial wipes in there. Over here we have some Steri strips, a survival blanket. Up here I have a small button compass. And water purification kit. I have about 10 water purification tablets and a good bag there. We have some quick clot sport right here. Uh, gloves with an alcohol wipe for your hands. I uh, have some H&H compressed gauze back here. Um, nasal pharyngeal airway. We have a, I believe this is a TK4L tourniquet, the long one. Uh, we have an ACE bandage with another safety pin. I don't like the little Butterfly clips, they always end up cutting me. And the Israeli bandage for big wounds that won't stop bleeding. So I can take care of most major trauma. Uh, I don't have a chest seal or anything in this kit. I just don't think the likelihood of that occurring is worth the uh, expense and weight of me adding it to my kit. Uh, it's much more likely that I get a you know skinned knee or a cut on my finger from cutting firewood or something uh, but that's certainly something I have in my larger kit so this is what I got guys just wanted to give you a peek have a good day God bless